Salon is a transparent overdrive pedal, often with a little horsey logo or a Centaur. An original one could cost about five grand. Most clones cost a couple of hundred. My one cost 30 quid. My clone was from a kit which I customized, so I put the green LEDs in the eyes, I put the dog sticker on, I even sprayed it, and uh, I had to wire the PCB as well, and it ended up looking like this. Glon pedals are supposed to be a transparent overdrive. I wouldn't say this comes out particularly transparent, but it doesn't mean it doesn't sound good. It may not sound quite like a clon, but it sounds like a great drive pedal. It sounds great on a clean tone, and it also sounds really good when the amp's already driven and you add this to it. So if you stack the overdrives, it really makes a difference. And in my demonstration, you'll get to see that. Right, the Clon Clone. This is what the amp sounds on clean. The amp is an orange rocker 15 Terra. And this is the clean sound. And this is the Clon sound. I'm just gonna switch between the two so you get an idea of how transparent it is. So I'm gonna start on clean. So in my opinion, that's not too transparent. It's not far off, but um, it's not as transparent as you'd expect from a clone. But that's sort of irrelevant. It sounds really good. It's a really nice drive pedal. I've got the gain set quite low and I've got the volume matched to the clean sound. So this is just a clean amp with the drive. I'm gonna turn the gain up a bit and then roll the volume down because it, it works with the volume really well. It's really reactive, so give me a second. This is with the gain up. As I roll the volume down, you'll hear it clean up really well. So it's a really reactive pedal. I do really like the sound of it. I'm now gonna show you how it sounds uh, on the drive channel of the amp because I think that's where it really shines, to be honest. It really sort of, like a tube screamer, if you've already got a driven sound and you click the tube screamer on it, removes some of the low end and just lets it all cut through. So I'm gonna flick it to drive. And this is the drive sound. And with the clon, flick between those starting with just the amp the amp on just the lead tone with the clone
it just tightens it right up. Quite often when you stack drive sounds, it could just sound a bit like the low end just collapses and it just all goes to pieces, but that really tightens it up. In fact, that tightens it up more than, well, in a nicer way than almost all my other pedals, probably on par with the tube screen, but it does it in a different way. So I think that's where this pedal really shines. I'm gonna do the same thing on a single coil guitar, just so you can hear how it sounds. But this is a 30 quid kit pedal. You can buy these pre-made. I mean, I bought another one for 33 quid, so 10% more, delivered, already done. So this is a cheap Klon clone if you want one. Don't spend five grand on a Klon. You could buy every single other type of Klon clone and still have about four grand change. This is the single coil sound on the neck pickup, clean. And with the Klon, so as you can hear it doesn't really have a transparent sound but that's not necessarily a bad thing i'm just saying it's not as clonny as you'd expect but does it sound good yes is it worth 30 quid yes right we're going to do the volume knob test so i've jacked the gain up uh really good. Right, I'm going to flick it on drive. This is the dirty channel sound on a single coil guitar. And with the clon. Just going to do a bit of a riffy thing with the drive channel and the clon together on the bridge pickup because I think it sounds cool. <laughs> Finally, I'm just gonna run a boost pedal through it. So this is the clone sound that I've got back on the clean channel. And with a boost. It just reacts so well. <laughs> It just sounds brilliant. It's a 30 quid pedal, you can't go wrong. So if you're thinking, should I buy a Klon clone? You know, they start at about 200 quid. You can get a cheap one for about 70, which I think is the sole food by Electric Harmonics. I've heard good and bad things about it, never actually played one. That's 30 quid. And if you don't want to build one, buy one pre-built for 30 quid. If you want to build a pedal, give it a go. And if you do it wrong, who cares? It only costs 30 quid. And it sounds great if it works and if I'm being honest, just customise it as per my video where I make this because that looks far cooler than a standard clone. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. <laughs>